Hello everyone, today I'm going to be coloring this uh, Robin coloring page from the Art with Edge Crayola Batman 30 page coloring book using not only Crayola markers, which you can get for about $15, both fine tip and super tip, but I'm also going to be using these Bic Intensity markers which these markers alone and in here you can get for about fifteen dollars and over here these are fine layers dollar each but without further ado let's get on with the coloring now we're going to be coloring in the picture the face the symbol everything now we're going to start by doing the, we're gonna start with the um, Crayola side. Um, I think I'm gonna do the mask first. So let's start with the super tip light green. Now, I'm not really sure actually if uh, we'll be able to um, do any to do any blending with this, but hey, that's what we can find out together. Learning as a group, you know. You know. I know this isn't a perfect line, but meh, I don't care. Tried my best. If it's not fully right, maybe next time. So now, Robin in the Rebirth or New 52 has two capes, one over the other. You have the, you have like a light green cape, and then a yellow cape. Then, well, the pants. The superhero pants, well, those are green. So I'm going to try and get this all on camera, but I can't. Oh, well. I'll try my best. But um, after this, like after I finish coloring it all and... We'll see. I'll tell you guys my thoughts uh, on the paper and everything. Because, you see, this coloring book is, oh shoot, it's actually pretty good. I just made a mistake. Oh, well, uh, you see that green part? Um, yeah, just a minute. Yeah, so, um, that little green part there I thought was actually part of the pants. Oh, well. That's what happens when you forget to cover in this part on both sides before doing it. Let's make sure I get that in on both sides. And, yeah. So that's fixed. Um... The next thing we're going to be doing is the uh, rim. Um, actually, let's do the hair. Yeah, we're going to do the hair. Yeah, we're going to do his hair color next. That's going to be the next thing we do, the hair. We're going to do his hair. You know, use this light blue for it, then I'll add in the shadowing and stuff after, because I'm going to try and get this as close to real comic art as I can, not actually looking at reference, but have been watching lots of comics, no, 
you're ever wanting to watch your comics while doing it, anything in your average day, this is this great a YouTube channel called Comic Storian. Just to uh, give them a shout out, I really, really enjoy the stuff on their channel. Very good. I'm just gonna quickly work on this up because I don't think this light of the blue works for Damien's here. You know, then again, I am putting my own twist on this version. So it's not going to be the exact comic version. So, you know, there's going to be a bit of stuff you don't normally see on the actual official comic version. But, whatever. Um, let's do the cape next. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the cape. There. Okay. You know, I honestly do not have a lot of high expectations for these markers. Thought they were going to be very bad, but no. Actually, these work out pretty good. Although, I do not think you can blend with them. They do work a lot better than um, Crayola pencil crayons. Um, I'm just going to take the creative liberty of making the rim and all the seams yellow. Because I'm not trying to make this 100% accurate to the comics. Like, this is taken directly from the books, but I'm trying to put, like, my own twist on it to make it my own. So... Yeah, and there's all the yellow done. I'm just going to take the creative liberty of doing the doing the little um, little seams that are shown in yellow. I don't actually know if they're yellow in the book, but Taking creative liberty, you know. I just realized one of the colors I had wasn't gonna work for that. Um, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is just um, we're gonna do the skin color next. No, no, we're gonna do the costume. Now, what I'm doing is. I'm going to put in a bit of orange into the mix for a bit of blending. You know I'm just going to quickly do a test to see if it'll blend. Hopefully it will. I mean, like, if Sharpies can blend, maybe Crayola can blend. Mm, no. Mm. Actually, raspberry color is uh, like a dark red. You know, actually, yeah, that one does actually look good. So yeah, this can work. This can work. The super tips could work for this. Not gonna deny them, because well, they already started. I will try and put in some shadowing later on some darkening colors, but for that, that's the reason I got my two colors of gray, so, yeah, um, I might have to do a part two of this, because right now, since I'm just a beginner on the channel, well, on the YouTube channel thing, I'm going to have to have a 15 minute long video so hopefully 
I'll be able to get down all of this, um, all of this side, and maybe do the, and do a part two, maybe, of the other video, or of the other side. Now, I'm going to move the camera back. So you can see, you know, I'm actually using one of the old iPod touches for this. Pretty good. But yeah. Um, you know, I might actually just leave it as orange because that looks very good in my opinion. That raspberry color doesn't really look like a red, but can work I think you know do that I am just noticing that I Got a bit of green area. Anyways, before I finish the video, I will end up showing you guys the entire thing, how it all ended up turning out, and everything. Since that's how I'm going to be trying to have it. Ooh, this super tip has a nice white flesh tone. You know, I actually kind of like it. The sketch tone. So yeah. Uh, with that being said, this will be the end of the video.